now he's running. Oh, oh, in that way. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. Popeye's at the house. Amelia has joined us today, hanging out with Abby there. We're the RC Sailors. Welcome to our RC family. We're at the airfield today in the clubhouse, because it's cold outside, to test again the Xiaomi Fimi A3. Now, I've waited a bit until I had time to do the firmware update for the drone flight controller, for the camera and gimbal, and the transmitter. Firmware was easy, successful. It only took me about 10 minutes. Uh, there was a foreign video that showed me step by step what to do and how to update it and uh, I'll probably link that in the description box below for you guys and there was just on the Femi.com they had the uh, firmware that you download and drag it right into the boxes. Very easy, very successful. So good job on Xiaomi Femi for making the firmware update easy. Now there were some issues with this drone in the first flight video that we pointed out, one being the flight time and I I think the reason for that is we may have just gotten a slightly bad battery. I have seen other people fly it, they're getting good flight times. So bear that in mind when we move out there and fly ours. I think we're going to get a short flight time again because actually I have flown this off camera a couple more times before the firmware update. I wanted to just hover it. In the first video I did, I flew it like this like crazy to try to get the camera and gimbal to mess up and it was awesome. Uh, but I, some people said, you flew too crazy, that's why I had a short flight time. So I, before I did the firmware updates again, I flew it again, I got about an eight and a half minute flight time. Eight and a half minutes on an advertised 25 minute flight time. That's not good. But I think that we did get a slightly bad battery. Now that I have the firmware updated, we're going to test a couple of the flight functions. Although those were uh, usable before the firmware update, I think it'll just work better now. And. Uh, the, the other big issue with the Femi A3 is the chirping motors or ESCs. I mean, it definitely has a very high pitch, you know, like a wobbly sound. And you'll hear that again when we fly this. Some people said the firmware update might help, but I don't think it will because the Xiaomi Mi 4K drone had the same sound. And we've seen that on a couple other drones before. One person recommended that maybe, Nate, your props are bent up there on the tips. You can kind of see. Every, oh, I can't believe you didn't see that. You had damaged props when you got them. No, that's the design of the prop. I don't know why it chirps when it flies, but it does. And for whatever reason, Xiaomi has said, we don't care. It's not something we need to fix. It chirps. <laughs> Maybe they have a speaker in there that's just chirping. I don't know. We're gonna fly this, test some more of the flight features for you guys, and uh, really just talk about this drone while it's in the air. So let's get out there and put this in the air. Let's do this. So I want to hit record. Should we go on? Yep. And <laughs> are you going to try to record from the no. monitor too? So as it turns out, I think, and I could be wrong because I'm wrong about like a million things all the time. I'm pretty sure that the USB micro SD card at the, uh -huh. uh, the, the micro SD card slot updating. is just for updating. And yeah, so okay. I don't think you can actually record the FPV. That's Let's take off. So this is, this one is down and in to start the motors yep. and then I can push throttle up and I'm in the air. We know that the camera looks good. We know that the gimbal quality is amazing. Uh, so what I want to test today is the uh, flight modes like follow me and that sort of thing. And it's still chirping. Still chirping. Yeah, let's fly it close so you guys can hear it. That's one thing that I want you guys to hear because that's some people hate this. Some people, including myself, don't really care. And look at all the crazy vibrations going on too. Now, now that there's clouds in the sky, you should be able to see that pretty well, right? Can you see how the how it's all moving? I can see it with my own eye. I just don't know how well it appears on camera. What if I what if we do it right above the trees there? You got lower it. Yeah. <laughs> right there. Having the trees in the background, can you guys see that? No, if they can or not. Oh. Just crazy. Okay, so. Uh, I want to answer this before I get out there. One thing everyone wanted to know is how much telemetry comes through your FPV goggles. Because remember, this is 5.8 gigahertz FPV, which does look really good. Let's just get another shot of us here. Um, it, it looks really good. Now, I have tons of telemetry on my screen, but when you put on your goggles, like my Quantum Cyclops goggles or Fat Shark goggles, how much of that telemetry, like height per second and how far out we are and your voltage shows up, on the screen, 
none of it. I tested this at home. I put my Quantum Cyclops goggles on and I looked through a couple other goggles and monitors. None of the telemetry comes through. So that's part of the transmitter. Well, you're at two minutes now. So if yeah. you're gonna get an eight and a half minute time, yes. you so go. It's really hard, impossible right now for me to show you guys the uh, flight modes. You have this little navigation stick. I'll show you on Abby's. See if you can get a shot of this. I got it. Does it look okay? Uh, you could get closer. Yeah, let's get closer. Okay, right there. Okay. So I can go to things like, we, we, we do have camera settings and I can adjust video resolution. People were asking about this. Picture quality, EV, ISO, shutter speed, saturation, contrast, and uh, the capacity of the card that's left. I can format the card too. So tons of camera settings actually, which is very nice. GPS mode settings. Are you still able to show this? Uh-huh. Limit of flight velocity, altitude, flight distance. Okay. Return to home on the height for return to home. Wireless video channel settings. I think that's going to be like what the band and everything uh, and what frequency we're on. So that's nice. That's <laughs> really nice actually. Flight mode settings, some custom settings. I, I don't have time to go through all of this, unfortunately, but I almost feel like we have I almost feel like we have more flight options in this drone than what you have on an app controlled drone, but it's just kind of hard to get used to the navigation part of this. But what I want to test is smart flight at the top. We have return to home, auto takeoff, auto landing, and orbit flight and follow me. Selfie mode, headless mode, fixed wing mode. So let's test some of these because Four there's, in. <laughs> yeah, there's a ton. So let's do orbit flight. Uh, I'll walk out here and we'll okay. see what it does. So orbit, would that be it going around me? Because that would be circle me. So I'm not really sure exactly what this is gonna do, but we'll find out. Because I believe the last time we flew this, mommy brain has me forgetting everything we ever do. But I don't think we got to test any features. It's flying itself right now. Nate said it's flying itself right now. I don't really know what that means because it doesn't even look like it's moving. What's it doing? I don't know. It looks like it's just hovering and slightly going to the left. It's right. It's weird. This is... It's just yawing really slow. He said it's just, it's just yawing really slow. So this is orbit mode again. I don't, I don't know. Amelia, she's asleep. She's bored. <laughs> I do something else. <laughs> he, says, he says he's trying. So as he said, the navigation with that is a lot harder to navigate and get used to with phones. Phones, they're all like pretty similar with the navigation and what icons and buttons you're looking for to be able to find the features. But this one's a lot different. So it's, it's telling me, occasionally it's telling me I have compass interference, please fly carefully. And the funny thing is, when I was calibrating the compass for this drone before we took off today, it had issues. I had to empty my knife, my keys, my phone, my wallet out of my pocket, go to the middle of a grassy field, and then it was like, hey, no problem. But this is a big grassy field. Like, there, there, shouldn't, have, there shouldn't be any interference. So a lot of these flight modes might not even work today. And that's really important for you guys to know. Let's try follow me. It's supposed to fly following the transmitter. Follow okay. me, home point is RC. So it's, it so will- So instead of a fixed object, it's only gonna follow the transmitter? Yes, that's okay. right. It doesn't have the ability to do like a tracking okay, mode. Go. Yes. Cause you're six minutes in <laughs> and we have done nothing. <laughs> so he's running toward it. It is moving. Uh, let me darken this. It's kind of hard to see with the sky today. It is moving with him. It seemed to have been wobbling a lot, but as we saw with the first flight video, Nate put it to the test with the wobble and it did a pretty good job of following him. Whoa. Okay, he probably did that to bring it closer to him, I'm guessing. And we're reaching almost seven minutes, I believe, with the flight. 
I don't know what he's trying, okay, it's following him. There you go, that's good. And now he's running. Oh, oh, in that way. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Are you okay? Did you just kill your back? You're too old to fall like that. That is so sad. How muddy are you? Turn around. Pretty muddy. Oh, I don't see any. Oh yeah, on your jacket. It's not bad. But, oh yeah, your butt's wet. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm good. I'm good. Oh. I think I got more wet than muddy. <laughs> okay, I really hate this drone now. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Amazing. I yeah. scared Amelia laughing at you. <laughs> she jerked. So what I did, uh, well let's talk about that fall. No, let's not talk about that fall. It's slick out there. That's a first. Six years of doing this, so I'm not doing that. <laughs> Hey, we do I not. Move on. The, the video is over. That's we good. we show it all. <laughs> we, we can't test any more features. Let's listen, just listen, end it here. listen. We got to talk about this. <laughs> it followed pretty well. And then <laughs> then what I did when you select follow me here. Let's just fly this out some. When you select follow me, it will follow you at whatever distance the drone is when you hit follow me. So That's if I hit good. follow me here, it'll follow me at that distance. So what I did when I was out on the field. I canceled the follow me, then I got it closer, and then I wanted it to follow me at that distance. And, and then I you was, ran. I was trying to lose the drone. <laughs> and I just, my feet just went, oh my gosh, they just went straight out in front of me. I've, I haven't followed like that since I was a kid, probably. I don't think you've ever, I don't think anybody in the history of ever has fallen While like that. being chased by a drone. <laughs> It looked like I went planking, like I just flattened out, didn't I? That was horrible. We're getting a longer flight time than um, I'm up saying? to nine minutes that's now. That's what I thought. So that's longer than uh, maybe the firmware update did it, but maybe it was your fall. Probably it felt bad for you, so <laughs> it said I'll give you a little extra time. Let's babe. try selfie mode. Here we go. What's the battery at? Can you see that? 11.1 volts. That's actually getting low. So uh, selfie mode. Compass in interference. So, and then it says selfie mode. You have okay, a water droplet on your screen. I know. I know. <laughs> I love you. You're the so, best. GPS interference is a big deal on this. We have headless mode and selfie mode. It's it's a real shame to have this much interference. We had this kind of problem with our me drone, uh -huh. and a lot of people said, Nate, all you gotta do is. Stand on one foot, twist your hand underneath, and just turn it from 12 degrees to 13 degrees. And you know what? That's fine. The if last you're... flight, it didn't do this, though. No, it did not. No, it did not. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I'm just going to fly it until so the battery's really low now. So you really can't test that many features because of no, the No, I'm getting this interference, interference issue. Wow. Well, that's just not okay. cool. I think so, everybody wants to see you fall again, so why don't you run out there? Get out there. <laughs> no. The thing is, I can do one of two things with this drone. I can sugarcoat it and I can test this 50 times until all these features work and show you all the features working, or I can show you a real world experience <laughs> and fall, on, and fall on my butt and and show you these features not working because it's very likely that when you get yours, it will not work too. And it's landing itself right now okay. because it, it did that descend, although it's not landing. It descended to that point. Let's just fly it a little bit more. I want to push it back up. That was weird. It dropped about a foot that was or so. Weird. I like to show you real world experiences, even falling on my butt, because because if you bought this drone, you might have a similar experience. I hope not. Yeah, I really hope not too. <laughs> it flies really well, doesn't it? It's a fun drone. Oh, that's like my favorite moment on the channel ever now. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the comments to hit. <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's descending again. It's doing that on its own. Is it going to land? It's like it really wants to because the battery is low. I'm going to save the footage here. You got 11 minutes now. You know what? It's It's these kind of videos that go viral, right? <laughs> No. No, <laughs> I'm, not I'm when hoping, you're reviewing a drone. <laughs> I'm hoping nobody sees this. There, it's saying low battery. 
Low battery of FC, please land now. All right, land. So I'm just gonna land it to save my so nine minute like flight battery. You got like 11 and a half minutes. Yeah, so we're, we're still not even hardly hitting the halfway point of the advertised 25 minute flight time. Is it a battery issue? What do you guys think? Did we get a bad battery? It's rare that that kind of thing happens. I'd like to pick up a second battery and test this. So maybe there will be more follow-ups with this drone. You know what I'm happy about with this drone? I'm happy to see something under $300. Oh, it's amazing. We've seen a ton of these drones with gimbals that claim they're going to be better. You know, such and such killer and that sort of thing. And they never are. No. But I feel like this one, at least with the camera and gimbal, is. Yes. It's, it's, the drone market is finally hitting that point where you're getting a good camera, you're getting a good gimbal, you're getting a good drone. I agree. So that's what's exciting about this one. I agree. Other than my pride, how, how is it? Lift your jacket. <laughs> it's pretty bad, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I still like this drone. I really wish it would hit closer to that 20 minute flight point the, that they advertise 25 minutes. But um, other than, I think other than that, it's pretty amazing. You know what though, there's one other thing. I, I experienced the same thing on the Xiaomi Mi 4, 4K drone that people uh, kind of criticized me with. I had GPS and compass calibration issues. And I flew it at different locations my dad ended up with that me drone. He had the same issues, but he uh, finally figured out that all you had to do was pick it up and move it a little bit and then set it back down. The only drone, the only GPS drone, even compared to like $80 GPS drones we've had on the channel, the only one that you have to do that with and real finicky, empty your pockets, take your belt buckle off just so you don't make the, the GPS and the compass mad on this thing. And we had to do that again today. The last time we flew this Xiaomi Fimi A3, it was uh, it didn't do that. It was very successful. It was like, wow, they've they've solved that problem. But now that issue is back. So clearly they haven't solved the problem. It's almost well, like the update made it have issues. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. right. Um, uh, one other thing too, that's just a small complaint, but m let's face it, most of us don't have a giant concrete landing pad that we can take off from on our drones all the time. A lot of times we're taking off on uneven surfaces. This drone doesn't have much clearance for the gimbal. You really have to have like golf course quality grass or turf to set this down so that the grass and things don't um, mess with your gimbal motors while it's trying to calibrate. Um, really the compass calibration and the short flight times are my only complaints and really it's not that short of a flight time. It's actually just as good as the DJI Spark flight time, but they do advertise 25 minutes. So we want to see at least a 20 minute flight, but it's just not happening. So there you have it. Firmware update didn't really solve the sound. I don't think it solved the flight time. Do I have a bad battery? Do you guys still think this is worth getting? How many times are you going to rewind and rewatch me falling in slow motion on YouTube? If you're interested in this drone, which I do recommend, it's probably one of the best drones on the market under $300. We'll have it linked in the description box below. As a matter of fact, I cannot think of another brushless GPS, uh, two axis gimbal, 5.8 gigahertz monitor built in. There is no other drone that hits this under $300. That I performs think as well. So. Exactly. This is top tier under $300. I just, oh, I wish it was a little tiny bit better but that's okay, it's still pretty awesome. All the good stuff will be linked in the description box below. If you guys, oh, stop smiling at me. This, I'm trying, I'm trying here. <laughs> I'm cold too. All the good stuff will be linked in the description box below. Remember, it is not easy or cheap having an honest RC channel. Companies that make these things do not like hearing bad things about them. So we a lot of times have to buy this stuff for ourselves. If you wanna support us in our endeavors and bringing you honest content, We'll have our Patreon linked in the description box below as well. We couldn't do this without our amazing existing patrons. So a huge thanks to you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey, Nate. Run much? <laughs> <laughs>